Hi everyone. Um, so today we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, collaboration tools for the windows and doors, um, industries. Um, and so today what I, I'd like to talk about two main things, um, sort of give you, give everyone an overview of some of the Autodesk collaboration tools, such as Fusion and Docs. Um, and then also, uh, integration between, uh, Autodesk Vault, which is, uh, Autodesk's PDM and uh, how it integrates with Auto, the Autodesk Cloud, specifically with Fusion and Docs. So how we can take information, um, you know, from an engineering perspective and, you know, when we're ready to publish that information or to have that information uh, be collaborated on um, by, you know, people on site or, you know, wherever they may be, um, how we can take that information and, and, and have Vault sort of push that data to the cloud so that others can collaborate uh, with it. Um, and then finally, at the end, uh, we'll have a Q&A for any questions um, or comments that uh, uh, you, you guys may have. Okay, so I'll get started um, with, uh, with, with sort of the first topic, which is the overview of uh, the overview of the collaboration tools uh, from Autodesk. Um, so I'll switch over to here. Um, just want to do a quick check. Um, can everybody see the screen? I'm assuming that the screen can be seen. Um, yeah, I'm okay. adding it right now. Okay. There you go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, there's two collaboration platforms that I, I, I want to really just talk about specifically for this. And the first is... Um, uh, the Fusion Team platform, uh, and the Fusion Team platform allows, uh, you know, for easy collaboration where I can, uh, you know, create different projects. As you can see on on the, on the left hand side here, I've got some different projects that I that I'm able to create, and then I'm able to invite users to that project to collaborate on. Okay, um, and in here, um, you know, if I go to one of these things here, I'm able to go in and and view you know stuff that's been uploaded by by users, and it it'll also keep track of versions of each each of the files. So if I were to upload a new um, um, version of this part, for example, um, it would version it up. So I I could go back to a previous version or upload a new version if I want to upload a new version. So I'm not ever overriding anything, which is which is a, a great feature. Um, so if I wanted to open up, you know, this part. Right. It would allow me to go into it, get, get some more details about this part. Um, now, if I had upload, if I would have uploaded this part, you know, with the, with the assembly and everything else in it, um, it would tell me things like where it's being used, what, what assemblies it's being used in. So it, it, it knows to capture all the design references. And this is especially important for, um, you know, inventor files. Um, it, it, it can capture all that information for me. And then I'm able to go in here and I'm able to view uh, this part, right? So I'm able to look at it. I can rotate it around. Um, and, you know, down at the bottom here, I've got some tools here that allow me to, you know, measure. If I want to measure, um, I can do a section analysis. I can uh, open up the document browser to see, uh, you know, the, if there was an assembly, some, uh, some of the other parts within that. Um, I'm able to open up uh, properties of this, right? So if there's any properties that were filled in, or if I chose to, you know, publish properties, I can view that information there as well. So it really allows me to uh, do real-time um, collaboration um, uh, within within this tool. Okay. Um, so I'll go I'll qu go through uh, creating a, a quick uh, new project just so we can kind of see how that's done, um, and then you know you get an idea of, of what, what's done there. So if I were to Come up here and say create project. You know, I can give this a name. I'll just call it test project. Um, security, I could say, you know, do I want it to be closed where only invited members can access this project? Um, open, any team member can access this project. Um, and then secret, where it says only invited members can see the project. So, you know, closed, although only invited members can access the project, a, a member that's not in the project would still be able to see it, whereas this one only invited people can see the project and no one else are able to see it. Because so I can set the security within here, and if I click on Create Project, it'll go ahead and create 
um, that project for me. Now, when I'm ready to um, invite project members, down in here I can click on project members, and then I can come in here and I can say invite, right? And I can, you know, specify the email address of the person that I want to invite, and then I can assign a role to them, right? So whether I want them to be an editor, which would allow them to upload uh, uh, files into the project, or I can say I want them to be a viewer, which would allow them to just access the project but just be uh, just be a viewer of, of the of the data that's inside of that project. Okay. Um, there's also an area here called wiki pages where I could you know publish information about the project. Um, it's almost like a knowledge base where I can start to publish information, key information about the project and, and that sort of thing. So I can I can do that here um, as well. Okay. Um, think of this just really as a glorified, you know, OneDrive, Google Drive, but intelligent for for CAD and design data. Okay. Um, as it allows me to view and, and collaborate uh, more uh, interactively with with those types of files. Okay, so that's creating a project, and like I said, it's very it's very simple. Uh, that project, if I just do a refresh here, that project would then show up. Um, if I go back here, it shows up in my list of projects. There, there's the project I just I just created. Okay, so that's the, that's the Fusion um, platform, and we'll talk about um, here. If I just go into the test project, um, you know, we'll talk about a little later on how we're able to get data or how someone is able to upload data into this project. Um, but if I just wanted to come in here and upload data just manually, um, I'm able to do that, right? So I can click on this upload button, okay? And in the upload button, I'm able to, uh, you know, upload a variety of different ways. So I can say upload file. If there's a folder of files that I want to upload, I can upload an entire folder. Upload an assembly. So if I do an upload assembly, it'll know to take the, the assembly and the references that are contained within that assembly. And there's even an option here to upload from a, like a, from Dropbox. Okay. So if I do it just a file and I'll pick, uh, I'll pick a file here that we can upload. So let's say, let me go to a, um, like a design file here that I'm able to upload. Um, let's pick. Pick something here. Oops, let me go back one. Let me just go to one that has a, an actual part in here. <clears throat> okay, so let's say I pick this part here, right? So if I go in here and I say open, it now goes in and it'll up upload that part into, uh, into the project. And now that part is there. I'm now able to click on that part, and you can see that it gives me a little thumbnail preview. And then, uh, while as it's being uploaded, it'll go in here. It'll it'll sort of generate a preview of that part. And once that preview's uh, been generated, I'm able to then also view it as well. To the right hand side here, I can you know start to do. This is where I can do real life, uh, a real time markup, right? Where I can view and I can comment, and that all gets captured inside of this comments area. Um, if I'm collaborating with, let's say, you know, a contractor or a co collaborating with a, you know, a third party design team that I contract work out to, right? That person that receives this file through Fusion 360 Manage can also, it also has the option here to say open in desktop, right? So if they click on this option here, it would open this file up directly in Inventor from, from Fusion 360 um, Manage, or sorry, Fusion 360 team, okay? Down up down here, I'm able to download the file if I want to just download it and open it. I can copy and I can move. I can create a milestone as well um, if I want to, you know, preserve a, a certain version of it and, and, and whatnot. So I can start to do that as well. Um, and then if I click on the view tab, it allows me to view. It takes a few minutes to, for it to generate a, a view, but then I'm able to go and view it there um, as well. Now. Just a few other aspects of where this also gets, uh, uh, where where this also happens here. So, when you um, have a tool like Fusion Team, um, there's also something called a desktop connector that you can install, where I can access these projects locally um, through Windows, right? So, if I wanted to use my Windows Explorer and drag and drop a file through there, I'm able to do it that way as well. 
very similar to how OneDrive or Google Drive works where it creates sort of a local sync area in Windows where I'm able to go in and access OneDrive just through Windows Explorer and then I'm able to drag and drop files through there and it gets uploaded to the cloud. So I don't have to use this web interface. I can also just come into my Windows Explorer and in Windows Explorer, if I click on this PC, you're gonna see that I've got a Fusion 360 drive here, right? So similar to how I have a OneDrive, right? I've got a Fusion 360 drive here as well. If I double click on that and I click under my hub, so just let me just go back one. So these are all the, just the different hubs that you can be a part of or invited to. So these are the ones that I'm a part of, but this is my own one. So if I double click on that one there, you can see that there's the test project thing that I, I, I created, right? And if I double click on that, you'll see that the file that I uploaded is there as well, okay? So I can interact with it through Windows Explorer. I can I can come in here and I can drag and drop files through this way and then it'll upload it to the cloud. Um, and, and so on. So I can I can use this interface as well to just get the uploads done. Um, but this interface is where I'm really going to do, you know, start to do the collaboration, create my comments and and, and notes and, and, and whatnot. OK. Um, just one final thing, if I go to Inventor. Um, I'm also able to access the cloud drive from Inventor as well. So if I were to go here and I click on Fusion 360, Right, I can access from Inventor, and I can down, I can um, open something directly from here, right in Inventor as well. Okay, so if I were to go, let's say to this guy right here. Okay, and let's say I go to, you know, this part here, and I say open. I can open something directly from Fusion 360 Manage right inside of um, Inventor as well, right? So it's a great way to collaborate from a design perspective where you know, both parties on each end are using Inventor um, and they want to upload to a common place, um, you know, we're able to do that as well. And so you'll see this open up in a second inside of Inventor. Okay, so there's my part that's open within Inventor. Okay, and in Inventor, you'll see the little cloud symbol beside the part. And that's what that's what tells me that this is a cloud file. OK. So a few areas where we can integrate. And then, um, you know, we can also upload things through here as well. Right. So if it's something that I want to collaborate with on a design or a manufacturer, I'm able to go in and uh, collaborate this way through Inventor by uploading directly into Fusion 360 Manage or Fusion 360 within here um, as well. Okay, so that's the, that's the Fusion uh, collaboration, um, but you know, in the in with Windows and Doors and stuff like that in that industry, you know, there's a manufacturing aspect, but there's also an architectural aspect where you know those that window or that door or something might need to be used, you know, by an architect or uh, you know by a building owner or or whatever, right? So there's that architectural aspect of it as well. So and in mo and the, and in those cases that you know architects and and building contractors and stuff, you know, they're using the other cloud platform that Autodesk uh, usually has is, which is called Autodesk Construction Cloud. And in there, there's a uh, something in there called Autodesk Docs. Okay, and that's where um, you know that industry primarily uses uh, what they use for their cloud. And so we're able to upload there as well. So if I go back into here and I go to Docs, right? So this is the Docs interface where I can go in and upload. So I'm going to just go to a project where um, I have some stuff uploaded into. So if I go here into this project. So Docs has a files area where I can go in and, and uh, view files or upload files. And again, I can upload files just by in the, through this interface, or I can upload through a more integrated um, interface through, through Vault, which I'll show in a second. So these files that you see here, these inventor files, so this is just what I've uploaded inside of Docs is just a what's called a curtain wall assembly, which is a you know a type of window basically. Um, but if I look at this assembly and I want to click on it and I view it, right? I'm able to um, I'm able to rotate this uh, window that I've uploaded, and again I get the same sort of tools, right? I can measure, I can do an explode model. So if I were to 
if I wanted to explode this and I wanted to see you know some of the interior components of this, you know I'm able to you know, view those interior components by exploding it. Um, so I can do that here as well. Um, I can look at the settings. I can look at the properties of this as well. Again, the properties are, are right now, it's not, it's, it's not showing anything for me because when you upload, you can upload with, you know, the amount of information that you want to show. Okay. So I can go in here. I can measure things. I can, I can do all sorts of things. So I can, I can do that as well. I can look at the different views of this as well. All right. So if I wanted to look at the you know, right side view, you know, I can look at that as, as well. Okay. Um, if there was sheets or anything like that, it would look, it would show me all the different sheets. You know, if there's a 2D aspect to this, it would show me the 2D sheets and stuff in here as well. So I could start to look at all those things as well. Okay. Um, so that's the docs, um, interface, uh, within here that I'm able to go and upload through as well. Um, so very similar concept here where I can, um, similar to Fusion, I'm able to go and create a project. Um, so in here, if I were to go to, um, let's say, go to just this account admin area, um, you know, I'm able to go and create a project. I'm able to give that project a name. Let's just call it that. Um, I'm able to give this a project a number where I, the account that's associated to, to, for me, for me, it's just called Great Tech Canada. I can select the project type. Let's say it's just going to be a commercial project. Let's just do this one here, actually. I can pick a project template. So there's predefined templates of if you're looking, if you want to do something specific, I can do a predefined template. Um, and then when I go in here and I create the project, it'll go ahead and it'll create the project for me. Again, I can add additional members to that project. I'm able to then um, turn on the different uh, areas that I want this project to have access to. So let's say I want to be able to be upload, upload files. So I want to turn on docs. And I want to be able to do some design collaboration, right? So those are, the, let's say I just turn on those two things. So now those two things would be active for that project, right? So if I go to this project now, um, you'll see that I'll be able to, um, let me just go through here. Okay, so here's the project. So you'll see now I've got a files area that I'm able to now, um, that I'm able to now uh, use, and it's created the folder structure based on um, based on the template that I uh, that I selected for it. Okay, and similar to uh, Fusion, um, Docs also has a local sync area where I can click on it, click on you know the account that I'm a part of, and I'm able to see um, projects through here. Um, as well. Because if I were to double click on this and double click on this, you can see those files that I had uploaded. I can see them locally in my Windows drive here as well. So similarly to that, I can, I'm able to access it locally as well. Okay. So if I minimize this and I go to, uh, the vault for a second. So, um, you know, if I come back to here again, Oftentimes, you know, some of these window and door curtain wall manufacturing companies, you know, they're using, uh, you know, a combination of um, inventor to do the design, to do the fabrication drawings. Um, and they're using Revit, you know, at, in, in the process as well to, um, you know, do the estimating and that sort of thing. And they're using Vault, you know, a lot of times to, to manage that data. Okay. So, um you know, from Vault, you know, Vault is a, a behind the firewall solution, right? It's it's not something that's cloud-based, but, you know, at the end of the day, the data, the design that I'm creating in Vault or the design that I've completed inside of Vault, you know, that design needs to be accessed by outside collaborators. And so how do I get that design from Vault into the cloud? Okay, so inside of Vault, what we've got is, um, there's a feature inside of Vault and it's called Project uh, Project Sync. Okay, so what Project Sync allows me to do is it allows me to synchronize files from Vault um, to either Autodesk Docs or Fusion Team. Okay, um, but in order uh, for me to do that, 
what we first have to do is an administrator has to go into the vault settings and we have to set up a cloud drive mapping. Okay, so that's what this is, project sync management, edit and manage cloud drive mapping. So if I click on configure here, okay, what this is gonna allow me to do now is it's gonna allow me to create a cloud drive mapping. So if I were, so I've got one here created called curtain wall and I've mapped it to my curtain wall project inside of Fusion. So if I were to create a new one, right, just so you know, you, got, you have an idea of how it works is let's say I create a new one, I'll just call it test. Um, so there's a few options here that I, I'm able to do here. So it says enable cloud drive mapping, enable manual sync, um, include design documentation files. So that would be any 2D drawings or anything like that. And then I have this, it says upload related files based on release bias. So one of the things that you're able to do is you're able to tie the upload of these files on a release, right? So if I release something to um, the shop or I release something to manufacturing, or if I, you know, have a state in Vault where I'm, I put in a state so that now I know that it's gone external, right? I can have those files get automatically uploaded based on the state that it's in inside of Vault. So I can set it up that way as well. So when I create my initial mapping, right? The first thing I'm going to pick is which folder in Vault do I want to uh, be able to um, sync. So let's say it's going to be this folder here. Um, actually, I already have one with that, so let's do it with this folder. So let's say it's going to be this folder here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick where in the cloud I want it to be uploaded. So you can see it, it, it displays Autodesk Docs and it's displaying Fusion, right? So depending on who I'm collaborating with, um, you know, I would pick the appropriate one, right? So let's say, for example, I'll do it to, um, let's go to um, docs. Okay, so let's say I'm going to upload it here and let's go and upload it into uh, this folder here. Okay, um, down in here, I can set up a folder for a scheduled sync, right? So if there's a, you know, a folder that I want to set up in Vault where I drop a file to it, I drop a file in that folder inside of Vault, I can set up a scheduled sync where it'll check that folder every, you know, whatever synchronizations I schedule I set. So let's say I set up for once a day. It'll check that folder once a day. And if it sees any new documents in that folder, it will automatically upload those documents um, into uh, Fusion 360 or Autodesk Docs wherever you've created your cloud mapping. So in my case, um, I'm going to just pick this sync fusion team or sync out of this docs folder, right? And that's going to be my sync folder. And then I can pick what kind of synchronization do I want happening, right? So uh, I can set up so that it only does an upload to cloud drive or a download or a bi-directional, right? So in this case, for me, I'm just going to say, I want to just be able to upload. I don't want to be able to, um, I don't want to be able to download. I want to just strictly upload information. Okay. Um, and then I can also say apply selected selection to subfolder. So, you know, if there's any subfolders in that folder, it would also check those subfolders. Okay. And then down in here, I can start to um, set up so I can get the upload done a few different ways. So I can say schedule. Um, so if I wanted to check every eight hours or daily at 12 a.m. or 1 p.m. or whatever, I can I can set up a schedule, or I can just set set it to none. Um, or if I wanted to go by you know a specific property that needs to a property condition that needs to be met, it'll upload that way as well. So for example, for me, let's say I want it to be so that if I say state, so I in in Vault I have a, a property called um, file state, or it's called just state. Um, so if I say state and I say contains released, for example, right? What that's gonna do is when a file goes into this release state, it'll kick off um, it'll kick off an upload to the cloud. So I can do that as well. So in this particular case, I'm gonna set it up so that it, I have to, I'm gonna do a manual upload, which I'm gonna show you here. Okay, so I'm gonna click apply to create this um, mapping. Um, and so while it does this mapping, um, yeah, so here it is. So now the mapping has been created. So now I'm able to go, let's say to that folder that I created the mapping for. 
involved. And let's say I want to do an upload. Again, for the purposes of this presentation, I'm just I'm I'm doing a a manual upload, but you know this can this this the upload as I mentioned before the upload can be done um, automatically uh, as well based on a schedule or a filter setting. Okay, so if I go to let's say this assembly here, let's just go to a, this assembly here. Okay, if I right click on it and I say uh, upload to cloud drive, right? So if I say upload to cloud drive. What that's going to do is it's going to allow me to pick um, the upload destination. So for me, it's going to pick, uh, it's, I'm picking this Autodesk Docs. That's the cloud drive that I want it to go to. And if I say upload, it'll now upload. Now, what it uses to do the upload, um, so mm -hmm. Vault has a feature called uh, Job Processor, right? So in Job Processor, so if I pull up my Job Processor machine, it's now going to go and process that job, and you can see it's going to go ahead and, and do that sync uh, for me. Okay, so that's how that that's how that's that's the integration that you have with with Vault and with uh, Fusion 360 Manage. For this one here, I can do the same. So this is the other mapping that I have uh, that I had created, where if I want to take this. And um, upload to a cloud drive. So for me, I have this as a Fusion 360 manage mapping. So I'll go ahead and I'll say upload. And again, it does the same thing. It uses job processor to do that upload into um, Fusion 360. So once that upload is completed, if I were to go here, I'd start to see files populate here once that once that upload is um, once that upload is complete. So there's there's a folder that's been created now. If I go into that folder, you can see that it's starting it's starting to upload those files now. All right. So it's just just recently. So this is the upload that it's that it's doing now. Oops, not here. But if I go to this machine here. Yeah, so the the upload is 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 complete. If I were to just do another refresh here, there's all the files that got uploaded. So if I go to the drawing of this, I can look at the drawing. I can do a you know where used you know all that kind of stuff. And again, it takes a, it takes a few minutes for it to generate all the viewables and everything. But once it's all generated, I'm able to go in and 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 view it and, and look at it all right so if i go to here and just say view right and so it's going to generate the viewable for this now and now i'm able to view this all right so there's the drawing for that assembly and the same i can do for um so you could see it shows me so it knows all the relationships right so it shows me all the parts shows me you know where used it's not going to show me in the where used right now because there's nothing that this assembly is being used in, but if I click on drawings, it shows me the drawing that's that's that it's using. And again, if I go to the view, it'll allow me to view this assembly. And so here's the assembly. I can look at it. I can, um, if I wanted to measure, I'm able to measure distances in here as well. Um, and so on. Okay, so I can I can do a few different things. I can print from here as well. Look at the model browser if I want to turn off, you know, certain parts or turn on certain parts. I can I can start to do um, all that as well. So those are all basically the tools you know that I found you know within these industries that are that have. Um, that are most commonly used to collaborate um, with. Uh, um, so you, you know, internally you've got your your PDM tool, which is which is Vault, which manages the data. And then you know, as soon as I want to start to collaborate um, externally, I can use Vault as a way to get that data up to the collaboration area. 
you know, and hey, depending on the collaboration platform, I can use either one of those. Yeah, go ahead. Can you refresh your toolbar at the top? It'll take you out and back in, but you're having a little bit of bandwidth issue. Oh, okay. Um, just give me a second. Sorry for the technical difficulty, guys, but he'll be right back in. And go ahead and share your screen again, and I'll pop it back up there. Okay. Okay. Sharing now. Is that better now, Misty? Oh, yeah, it's a lot better. Um, try to share your screen. Wait, I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. Back and running. Okay, perfect. All right. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this is so I'm I'm able to, you know, again, view the model. Um, and the nice thing about this is that it keeps it'll keep track of all the versions that were uploaded. So here I could, you know, it'll tell me all the different versions and I can go to each a previous version if I wanted to view a previous version and and so on. So I'm able to I'm able to view all that. So um, you know, like I, like I was saying, you know, I'm able, you know, within this industry, I'm able to see, you know, what I've seen most commonly used are, you know, vault to be, to manage. So the, the internal processes and, and design and then either fusion platform or the docs platform as an external collaborating platform, um, to, to share that data externally outside of, um, outside of the company. Now, in each of these platforms, I mean, I, I showed Vault as a way to upload data, but as I mentioned, at any time, I can upload, you know, files through here as well, right? So if I wanted to upload, let's say, a, you know, for example, a PDF of something, right? So if I were to go to, um, you know, let's say this drawing PDF, right? I can upload a PDF um, or any file type, really, because I'm, I'm using a PDF as an example, but... It can be any file type that I'm able to then upload and, and view in here as well. So if I look at that, go to that PDF, you know, I can go in here and I can view that PDF directly in here as well. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's, that's where that's at. And as for the design tool, you know, again, you know, I was showing this within the context of Inventor, um, but this certainly does work with AutoCAD as well. Um, as because AutoCAD files can also be managed in Vault and DWGs can also be viewed within uh, both of those um, platforms as well. And in fact, um, the drawing that I was showing you here, this particular assembly that I've got is a DWG, right? So if I click on the DWG, um, I'm able to actually view that DWG directly inside of here um, as well. 